Hey, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of The Robin Graham Show. We're here today for episode 205, and this is a solo episode. And today we're going to talk about why you need to create a unique personal brand. And I'm going to use an anecdotal story to kind of preface this. And I don't know if anybody else out there is as much of a fan of Pride and Prejudice as I am, but that is what the story is about. So I recently watched the movie Pride and Prejudice based on the book that is my all-time favorite book, probably, or one of my all-time favorite books. I'd love to hear from you guys if you love it too, but it's Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, and it's one of my favorites. So as I watched, I couldn't help but evaluate Mr. Darcy's personal brand. Don't ask me why that comparison came into play, but it did. So his genuine personal brand is one of kindness, caring, deep love, and generosity. But for the majority of the book or movie, the reader or the viewer, whichever you are, sees him through the eyes of Elizabeth Bennett. Her perception, which is which ultimately becomes our perception, is that he is senseless, selfish, egotistical, pompous, and grumpy, and just overall negative. Mr. Darcy did not represent himself authentically because he was shy, anxious, and fearful because of his deep affection for Elizabeth. As a result, he almost lost the opportunity to share his love with her. How often do entrepreneurs let fear, doubt, and anxiety hold them back from being their authentic, genuine selves and experience the loss of clients or opportunities because they haven't controlled that perception that others have of them through their personal branding efforts? It's definitely a thought to ponder and a reason to take intentional action to build a unique personal brand and differentiate yourself through personal brand. Okay, before I jump into the meat of the episode, I just want to say if you are a Pride and Prejudice fan, take a screenshot of this episode and share it on your social profiles with the name of your favorite character. Be sure that you tag me so that I don't miss it. For the record, my favorite character is Elizabeth. With Mr. Darcy and Mr. Bennett tied for a close second. I just love their personalities. With all of that said, I'm going to dive into the meat of the episode. So a unique personal brand will help determine what other people think, say, and feel about you. Your personal brand begins with your life experiences and your career journey. All of this applies no matter what phase of your career journey you are in. So how can you create a unique personal brand? It starts with staying aligned with your values, following your visions for yourself, and pursuing your passions, all of which are part of your God-led calling or your purpose. Before dissecting how you create a unique personal brand, let's break down what a unique personal brand is. So a unique personal brand is what other people think, say, and feel about you the perception others have of you. And that is determined by those factors that differentiate you, those factors that make you unique. Things like the way you present yourself, how you tell your story, your behaviors and the choices you make, how you interact with others, the content that you post online, your style, where your expertise lies, what you invest or don't invest in, your beliefs, the values that you align with, who you serve in your career role, be it corporate or entrepreneur, the people you surround yourself with. And with that, remember, experts say that you are the average of the people you spend the most time with. Therefore, if you want to control the perception that others have of you, it is important to choose your team and friends wisely. More differentiating factors include your journey and life and career experiences what you charge for your services, your passions, and more. So if you are struggling to create a unique personal brand, I want you to start by making a list. Make a list of all the characteristics you have that make you unique. Don't think about anybody else while you're doing this exercise. Don't think of anyone else that you've been distracted by or compared yourself with or been trying to do what they say to do. 
Don't even think about anyone else but yourself while you do this exercise. Look back at your life and career journey. What experiences have you had that no one else has had that leverage you as the go-to in your niche? Recognize that there is only one you. No one on this planet, not in history, not now, and not in the future, is like you or has had the same journey and experiences as you. Writing this list is key. You want to permanently recognize what makes you unique and embed it in your brain because you will use this list in your personal branding efforts. It'll also just help your brain recognize your uniqueness and your skills and give you more confidence when you are telling people about yourself through your personal branding efforts. So what do your past and present clients say about you? This is another list to make. After you've made a list of what you believe makes you unique, make a list of what your clients say about you. The voice of your soulmate customer, or otherwise known as the VOC, voice of customer, can be a powerful tool for communicating what makes you unique and why people will find working with you so beneficial. You can also conduct a survey and ask your customers what their experiences of working with you have been, what they need from you, what problem they believe you solve, the problem they need to be solved, and all of those other things that can reflect what they view you as in terms of being able to help them. All of this language will help you be able to tell the world what makes you unique. Having clarity around what makes you unique will help others understand and have clarity about why they need your help. They're the help from you that only you can give them the way you can give them versus hiring someone else to do it. Personal branding is what controls the perception others have of you. So you have your personal brand, which is what other people think, say, and feel about you. It's that perception of you. Your personal branding is communicating about your unique personal brand. You have control of that perception that other people have of you. How? Through differentiation, ways you can differentiate yourself. And those ways include sharing your story, demonstrating your unique qualities and characteristics when working with clients, being present online and in person to share what you do, who you serve and how you serve them. What is your why? Sharing your values, visions, and passions. Consistently representing yourself in a genuine way, not following the crowd, or using the language that others in your area of expertise use. No copying. All original based on your unique, genuine self. Tactical differentiating factors include your pricing, location, speed and ease of working with you, your services, how you provide them, where you provide them, and the quality that you provide. Sharing your journey and what led you to where you are today is so key in differentiating yourself. Again, every experience you've had along your journey is key to where you are today and how you can now serve other people. And communicating how your experiences have helped you become the expert that you are. Personal branding is differentiating yourself and demonstrating what makes you unique from everyone else in your area of expertise or your niche. It is communicating your uniqueness to the world and you get to control how you do this. When you do it, where you do it, what platforms you use and how often you do it. But the key is to be consistent. Don't waver on your skills, your expertise, your experiences, and your story. Tell it as it is and tell it authentically and genuinely so that you can build that emotional connection with your potential clients. So you might be sitting there thinking, okay, Robin, but what if I don't like to talk about myself? Oftentimes entrepreneurs, especially those just starting out, are afraid to talk about themselves. But here's the thing, if you don't talk about yourself and communicate about your personal brand through your personal branding efforts, no one will know you exist. You can have all the SEO in the world, but if you aren't present and aren't sharing your expertise with other with your audience and other people, then how will they know how you can help them? 
how will they be able to find you or understand that you can help them because you've been right where they are? It takes a level of braveness for sure. It takes confidence and strength to put yourself out into the world. But if you want to achieve success and have a positive impact on the lives and businesses of others, you need to create a personal brand and build a brand marketing strategy. This is where mindset comes into play. If you have anxious, negative, or fearful thoughts about the value you provide and how your experiences and journey lend you to be an expert in your niche, it's time to squash the anxiety and worry. To do that, you have to catch those negative thoughts, challenge them, and change them. The more you do this exercise, the more you'll have control over your thoughts. When you have more control over your thoughts, you will be more confident to share yourself through your personal branding efforts. Your unique personal brand is the foundation of your business. Once you have established your personal brand, you can create a brand marketing strategy and communicate with the world. You can implement tools and systems, automate your processes, and streamline your business. But the foundation has to be laid first. And that foundation is your personal brand and your brand marketing strategy. When you have a positive mindset, a personal brand, and a brand marketing strategy, you'll be able to take intentional, effective action. And each action item will lead you closer to success. You won't be spinning in circles, trying to do what everybody else is doing or taking on that new shiny object that people are talking about that has made them six figures. None of that is truly authentic to you and your business unless you've built a foundation on your personal brand first. You have to tell the world about you first. You have to create that perception you want them to have of you first before people are going to feel an emotional connection with you, before they're going to trust you and be confident that you can help them. In summary, everyone has a personal brand. Whether you are in corporate and working on a side business or an entrepreneur, you have a personal brand. Your personal brand is what other people think, say, and feel about you. Personal branding is a compilation of your efforts to differentiate yourself by communicating and sharing about all the things that make you unique. Your goal through your brand marketing strategy is to make yourself recognizable, memorable, and shareable. Your brand marketing strategy is how you manage your personal branding efforts. You build a strategy so that all of your content is distributed and disseminated for the world to learn more about you, but done so in a strategic way that makes sense and builds confidence and trust. God has called you for a purpose. He wants you to help those who need the help that only you can provide because your experiences and journey give you the expert authority to solve the problem. When in doubt about the value you can provide or whether or not you have a purpose and can help others reflect on this verse, it's just to help you reframe your thoughts. Romans 8, 28. And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. You, my friend, have a purpose. If you are confused at all about your purpose, I will link in the show notes so many different episodes that you can go back and listen to, including episodes on personal brand, personal branding, building a strong foundation, the purpose to results method, and also an episode on finding and discovering your purpose. If you'd like more information on how to build that solid foundation for long-term success for your brand and business, download my free ebook which is my success equation and the purpose to results method. And you can find that at the robingrahamcom forward slash resources. I will also link that in the show notes. If you are not subscribed to my email list, every Monday I send out an email that is a journaling prompt for the week. So that is a great way to start your week off on a positive note and to take the right steps, action steps, throughout the course of the week, keep you focused on that positive mindset. Okay. With that, we are at the end of this episode. I thank you all for joining me today and let me know who your favorite character from Pride and Prejudice is. 
Have a great week, everybody. And I will be back next week with another episode.